For liquid limit tests, we will use the same soil as we use for plastic limit. Uh, the soil was uh, prepared yesterday. We mixed it with water and allowed it to rest for 24 hours. Um, you can see the consistency of this soil. And uh, we're going to use this uh, catheter device. We're going to place uh, soil inside the cup. This is what I'm going to do right now. When we do this test, we need to do around four or five runs. Uh, the first one we'll do on a soil that is uh, not very wet. And uh, we need to get around um, from 40, like around 30 to 40 uh, blows. Uh, then we'll add a little bit of more water, make it a little bit uh, wetter than before. We'll do the same test and we should get a number of blows around uh, in the range from uh, uh, 20 to 30. And then we'll increase the water content. That will decrease the number of blows. And we need to get a nice uh, distribution of results. Uh, for this test, uh, we should do around four or five uh, experiments uh, to get a good and reliable results. So I place the soil in the cup. I'm going to uh, make a line in this cup. Now I'm going to rotate the handle um, to revolutions per second. And then uh, you will see that uh, the soil will slide down. And when uh, it closes about uh, 15, uh, 13, 15 millimeters, we'll stop the test. We'll count the number of blows uh, to that uh, moment. And then we'll just uh, record the data. So you see that this area is closed, and it took uh, 32 blows. I'm going to write it down in my uh, table. Uh, we use these tins. Uh, number one, we already know the mass. I'll collect soil from the cup. We need to collect uh, enough to get good readings of water content. I'll put it on the scale. And measure the mass of tin together with the wet soil. Now I will put the soil back in this bowl. I'm going to add uh, more water and uh, mix the soil with water again. And we will repeat the test. Uh, we'll do another test. Um, it's uh, 24 blows, and I'll collect sample for water content. The mass 30.97. One more test. Uh, it's about 17 blows. I'll collect sample for water content. Twenty-eight point five. Um, it's about uh, fourteen. I'll collect sample. And measure the mass of it.
and put it in the oven. Um, now we will continue liquid limit test. Uh, we take uh, soil samples out of the oven. Uh, after 24 hours, you will see that it's dry. Uh, we need to know the mass of the soil. Uh, we'll do the simple measurements. We'll start with number one, tin number one. And we'll record the dry sample mass. Then we'll go with tin number two. We'll get another mass. Now we're going to find the mass of tin number three. And tin number four. Once we know the mass of dry soil, we can calculate the water content. Uh, and then we would uh, correlate uh, this water content to the number of blows uh, in a graph. Um, we plot the numbers, and then we will connect the numbers with a line of best feed. And then uh, we will find um, where the um, number of 25 blows correlates uh, to the water content. And that water content will be the liquid limit of the soil. Thank you.